0.1 plus 0.2. When you run this calculation in the programming language of your choice, you might be expecting the result to be 0.3. But the actual result is going to be 0.3000004. What is this trailing number at the end? Is your programming language broken? Is there a bug? No, it's not. This is the result of how the computer perform arithmetic operations on floating point numbers. To understand this better, let's take an example of a real world situation and see how we humans do the mathematical operations and how is it different from the computers. Let's say that we have a 1 by 3. If we add 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 into 1 by 3, the result is going to be 3 by 3 or it is going to be 1. But if we actually perform this division between 1 by 3, the result is going to be 0.333 all the way to infinity. Or we can write it down as 0.3 recurring. So it means that 3 keeps on repeating till the infinity. So now we can write our statement with 0.3 recurring as this. Let's say for a minute that we humans were not capable of identifying the infinite sequence of numbers. So we could only count to 4 digits after the decimal place. So 0 0.3, 3, 3 and 3. And we cannot count any number after that. So now in this case if we rewrite our statement with 0 tetra 3, 3 times, the result is not going to be 1. It is going to be 0 0.9999. So it means that if we don't take all the numbers after the decimal place, the result is going to be a different one from what we expect. Something similar happens when the computer tries to deal with the floating point numbers. So if we look at our statement 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 again, and if we take the binary format for both of these numbers, because computer deals with the binary numbers, 0 0.1 is going to be 0 0.0, 00110011 all the way to infinity and for 0 0.2 it's 0 0.00110011 all the way to infinity. Now computers have a limited amount of memory. They cannot keep the recurring or infinite amount of numbers. So they only take a limited numbers from this bit sequence that we have which is 23 bits on a 32 bit computer. Now if we perform the sum operation on both of these numbers, for us 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 is 0 0.3. But for computer when it is dealing with the binary numbers, the result is going to be a different one, which is going to be the binary of 0 0.3004. Because when the computer is doing the sum operation on the binaries of these two floating point numbers, it is not taking the full binaries into the account. It is only taking some parts of both of these binaries while doing the sum operation. And that is why we get the unexpected results when dealing with the mathematical operations on the floating point numbers. In most of the cases this difference is so small that it can be ignored. But when you are dealing with the currencies and the amounts, you might not want this difference. So in order to fix this, you might want to rely on the decimal data type or you may deal with the integers instead of the floating point numbers. So convert for example the dollar amount to cents before doing any kind of mathematical operations. And that is all for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.